on track on all the projects that you'll never like. The community feed, the community feed. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the community feed with D. So it was a pretty exciting past week, past weekend with the uh, San Diego Comic Con 2024. Now that's done, um, let's catch up on what's happening for this week. So starting off, first of all, we've got Evolved with Coppin or Dropin, and he's doing that live stream later on today at 9.30ish p.m. Pacific time, and it'll be only on X. Um, he was having some issues with um, YouTube or StreamYard, so he'll be only streaming on X, so make sure you set your reminder for that. So we had... Um, Miss Pinky Hoot, she actually did a live um, X space with video and her daughter was there too. So go check that out. Um, that, that was pretty cool. She did some artwork. Um, the link is down here if you wanna go and catch the replay, but thought that was pretty cool to see. And then also we have Double Quill. She recently just opened up her um, buy me a coffee account so please go and support her she always puts out her um, medium articles and blogs every sunday so go and check her out buy her a coffee or two um this is her uh, blog here on medium if you go check it out this is her latest one 59 so she's done quite a bit she's almost at 60 so go grab her some coffee so she can keep on writing these awesome blogs every week for us. Okay, and then we have Richard. So he posted this. Um, it's an initiative to get more people to um, learn more about security in well, in internet world as well as the Web3 space. Um, so he's doing this initiative thing. And also with some giveaways, um, you know, to get more people involved. So he'll have more details. Uh, stay tuned to Superstar Money. That's a um, hint. And please share. So the more uh, participants, the better prizes. <clears throat> and it's good for the space. So go check him out. Give him a follow as well. And then Key Collector 98. So for those who didn't make it to San Diego Comic-Con and couldn't get any of the exclusive, he's got some. And he's doing a What Not Show tomorrow, Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So he'll have a lot of um, auctions on all exclusive signed books. And he'll also have some subs in there for auction. So go check him out. This is a link for his whatnot. And this is what it looks like. So that's at 3 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. So go check it out and get yourself some stuff if you couldn't make it to San Diego Comic-Con. Okie doke. Moving on. Also tomorrow we have um, Stuart. He is hosting the Welsh and Stax Fam uh, X Space. And that's at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. Also, I forgot to post this, but go check out Ms. Gex. She has her um, weekly calendar for this week. And that lists all the things happening for this week so you can catch up and um, set your reminders for the spaces and channels and podcasts that you want to check out. And then also on Thursday, August 1st at... 4 p.m. Pacific time, uh, Emoji will be hosting the comic shop with Casey. So go check that out. They'll be covering Ultimate X-Men number two review. So also set your reminder for that. And then uh, let's see, Mainzy, he has his um, space as well on Saturday, August 3rd at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And that's uh, The Collector's Hub. So this is episode two. So this is something he just recently started. So go check him out. <clears throat> that's this Saturday. 
Okay, and also casual. He is having his karaoke space, and that's at uh, 3 p.m. on Saturday, August 3rd. So set your reminder for that as well. And just go and chill, listen to people singing, or you can also, if you're comfortable enough, you can go up and also sing a couple songs if you want. And, and then Sunday, August 4th, at 1 p.m. Pacific time, uh, Miss Rose, she's hosting her space on X called Shill That Meme. Um, I haven't ca caught if this was the first or second one. So go check it out um, and see what that's about. And then moving on to some BB comics. We got the new list of the comics that are dropping on Wednesday, July 31st at midnight. So it looks like there's uh, 16 new releases. Oh, look at this ghost spider. That one's a cool one. And that will be covering uh, tomorrow night on our live stream at 11.10 p.m. Pacific time. Um, so catch us on that if you want to. Uh, just come and hang out even if you're not buying any books. Um, yeah, but go check that out. That's the list of all the new releases. And then a few drops happening on VV coming up. So tomorrow, Tuesday, July 30th at 8 a.m. Pacific time, we have the first appearance of Spider-Man Rain. And that is, so we've got the common, I've never heard of this book. Um, We've got the uncommon. Looks totally like ragged. We've got the rare. We've got the ultra rare. And the secret rare. But if you're going to go for it, it's $6.99 gems. And total editions is $5,000. Uh, keep an eye out for uh, Dr. Strange's YouTube channel. I'm not sure if maybe he's... Um, cover this on his uh, stack in or slack in videos but go check them out just in case so we've got another comic coming on vv and this is the first appearance of the spider verse and this one is called the amazing spider-man number nine and that drops on august 1st at 8 a.m pacific time let's see what that one is about We've got the common here. We have the uncommon. This is pretty cool. It's only him uh, colored in. We have the rare. This is one I like. I love this. All the little, little mighties. <laughs> That's so cool. We got the rare. We've got the ultra rare. Oh is Groot. And we have the Secret Rare. Okay, let's see what that's about. So the first appearance of the Spider-Verse. Superstar artist Olivier Koipel. Sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, from Thor, Siege, and House of M. Joins Dance Lot to bring you the biggest spider event ever. When a force of evil threatens spider characters throughout the multiverse... Every Spider-Man ever is needed to save the day. The Spider-Verse event begins here. Oh, that's so cool. Very cool. So if you're going for it, I think I want to go for it just to see if I can get that rare. It's um, $6.99 gems, and that's also 5,000 editions. That is really cool, actually. I do want this. Just a Scotty Young cover. This one, or if I, I'll probably either, either land this one, the uncommon or the common, per usual. <laughs> but let me know if you're going to go for that, because that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have dun, 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 <clears throat> the Jawa Character Series. So there's three new digital collectibles to the Star Wars A New Hope collection. It always creeped me out because, like, their eyes are just glowing. But let's go check it out. 
Let's see what that's about. <laughs> so in the epic tale of Star Wars A New Hope, we follow Luke Skywalker, a humble farm boy who unites with the courageous Princess Leia, the roguish Han Solo, and the wise Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi. Together, their mission unfolds to free Leia from the clutches of the malevo malevolent Galactic Empire, thwart the catastrophic Death Star, and unlock the enigmatic power of the Force. This assemble of characters sets the stage for a sweeping narrative of heroism and the eternal battle between good and evil. Okay, so then we have the Jawa character series, Jawas. Inhabitants to the arid planet of Tatooine embark on desert journeys in colossal sand crawlers. We already had the sand crawler collectibles drop with the sole purpose of scavenging discarded technological debris, which they diligently restore and offer for sale, probably at a very high price. Settlers on Tatooine have painfully discovered that the quality of Jawa repairs <laughs> can be a, a matter of uncertainty, with some fixes proving transient often lasting only until the sand crawler departs and sometimes not even enduring that brief span. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I believe we got to see that um, in the Mandalorian show. That was funny. But anyways, so these are the collectibles. So we got Jawa 03, which is the common. And the list price is 10 gems. And for this one, there's 8,888. Mm, very cool. Okay. And then we have Jawa 01, which is the rare. Huh. They went 3, 1. Okay. This one is also 10 gems at 5,555 editions. Okay, and then we have the Jawa 02 Secret Rare. Oh. Okay, and that's also 10 gems at 222 editions. So this one is really scarce compared to the other two. And then 40 will be held back, so even less. Wow, okay. So we got this guy holding that. I'm not even sure what that is. And then we've got this guy. Their face just like blends in with the background sky. They're just floating eyeballs. <laughs> and then we got this guy. So let me know if you're going to go for any of these guys at 10 gems. <clears throat> if you're going to be stacking them to make an army so they could uh, go in the sand crawler. That'll be cool to see. I'm probably not going to go for these. Um, but good luck to you if you are. Um, for Yes, yeah, there are only 10 gems. So that's a pretty good price on that. Uh, but anyways, let's move on to the next topic. We have Elmon X. So Elmon X has been cooking. And I've been seeing a lot of posts of the people that are really um, into this project. So... Mark your calendars. The Elmon X store, they have a store. It's launching on July 31st at 10 a.m. Pacific time. That's in two days. That's so cool. So explore a range of physical products, each with a digital ERC-1155 twin collectible. New product surprises await as we merge worlds. Ooh, and if you repost this... And like this post for a chance to win a free item from the store. And bonus is if you share a picture wearing their products, you'll get a chance to win an additional prize. So cool. Very cool. And the drawing, let's see. The drawing ends when the store goes live July 31st at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So you've got like one and a half days to enter this giveaway and repost this post. 
but very cool and there's all the things that they um will be offering on their store very nice and here's um here's a look at what some of them look like so they've got this they've also got um the x signature x pendant necklace and the boy soldier t-shirt right here some other models showing these off very cool and another um project that's doing this awesome awesome giveaway is mcfarland toys this is so cool i'm gonna enter so <clears throat> they say couldn't make san diego comic-con we've got you covered we are giving away four awesome spawn prize packs consisting of one t-shirt one hat and at least one figure signed by todd mcfarlane himself this is so awesome because uh, i wasn't able to go um like a lot of you weren't able to go either but this is so cool to have an opportunity to win one of these or to win a pack of these. So if you enter here, this will take you um, to their uh, page on how to enter. So first of all, you have to be 18 years or older and you have to verify it as well. And you have to be a resident of either the United States or Canada. So you basically, uh, it starts, the giveaway starts today and it goes all the way through um, August 16th, 2024. Let me just click this so you can see it more better. Okay, so these are the prizes. One signed shirt, um, one signed toy, one t-shirt and one hat. Okay, like I said, uh, this is a form, you put your name, enter um get extra entries for following them on instagram and subscribing to their youtube channel but this is so cool if you're living in canada or the us get in there and enter to win some of these really cool prizes <clears throat> and let's see what else we got oh that is it that is it everybody that's all the news I got today. Hope everyone's having a great day and a great start to the week. And um, I will catch you later and see you all in the future. Bye. Slow the community feed the community.